let's just go. Let's just go, shall we? No point in beating around the bush anymore. All right, hi. So what am I trying to say? What words? Use your words, Kira. So I've been making a lot of vlogs here in the bubble, as you guys probably know. And this morning we had a certain pass and just started filming some stuff. And I thought, you know what? It might be valuable to you guys, to the people outside of the shield, outside the bubble, to see what we get up to on game days. What is our morning routine, as it were? I know those kind of videos that they pop off on YouTube. So let's just see. Let's just see what all the hype is about. I don't have any specific, how do I put this? I'm not one for routines, so this might, might be the worst person to make this kind of video. However, there are some things that I just, I don't know. I just do them a lot and I know they help me as an athlete, as a human. I thought I would share a couple of those things with y'all, if you'll allow it. <laughs> First of all, I have to apologize to Jamie Morrison, who's one of the coaches here in the bubble, because he borrowed my mic which is right here. <laughs> I messaged him and asked him to bring it back so I could record this video, but I don't think I'm even gonna use it because it's just, I feel I feel like it's more of a casual conversation than an actual official filming, sit down, mic in hand kind of video. Sorry for waking up, waking you up from your nap, Jamie. But, uh, okay, so let's just, let's, if, I jotted a couple of things, I don't know. I'm just gonna, we're gonna go through them together. We're gonna go on this journey together. Game day routine in the bubble. As you guys know, I've played a lot of volleyball in my life. I'm kind of old, kind of kind of decrepit, but uh, experienced, as they say, right? Not, oh, not old, experienced. So one of the things I learned really early on, and I, maybe I just brought this over from teenagerhood, is I need a lot of sleep. There are some people who can get away with four hours of sleep and that is great for you, Elon Musk, but I am not one of those people. I need my sleep if I'm gonna function as a human. So very first thing on my list of things that I need on game day is a good sleep. I'm talking like eight to 10 hours of sleep. Either, either I get that in in the morning or in the nighttime, I guess, or I have to have a nap in the afternoon, but some way, somehow I'm getting my sleep. So that is the first thing. Wake up nice and refreshed. Then I am big on eating food. That sounds stupid, everyone eats food. You're a human being, Kira, of course you eat food. But I know some people can get away with not eating breakfast. I am not one of those persons. I need food in my stomach before I do anything, anything else. It can be something basic. It can be yogurt, it can be fruit, it can be cereal. Be oats. I don't really, I'm not big on like a cooked breakfast, eggs, and I mean, obviously, I'm vegetarian, so I'm not gonna be eating bacon anyway, but I think something a bit lighter is usually the best for me, especially on game day because you gotta wake up and go to training. So you eat your breakfast, it's the most important meal of the day. <laughs> Maybe, that's what they say, I don't know. And after my breakfast, obviously, I usually have coffee with breakfast, just black or with almond milk, nothing too fancy. But before I leave my, well, hotel room, apartment, wherever, wherever you happen to be on game day, I'll always make sure I mix up a little bit of BCAA and creatine before I go to training because it's good for muscles, recovery, pre-covery, and creatine I feel like helps sustain my energy throughout a training. So whether it be a long training or just a serve and pass or before a game, I've noticed a big difference, especially since going vegetarian, that I don't get a lot of creatine in my diet. So I, I add that I add that in on the slide with a little bit of powder in the water. The next thing is, oh yeah, okay. So I drive to training recently. I've been driving with Taylor Brands, who's my teammate this week. But as soon as I get to the gym, you know, put on training clothes. I always wear ankle braces. That's a thing as well. I, I don't know if that's part of a routine or just it's a thing that I do. I've done it since college and I've only had one. Oh my God, knock on wood. I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, but I've only had one sort of like ankle injury. So I wear active ankles religiously. Also, I love, 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 love all the Hyper Ice products. You guys know I'm a mad Hyper Ice fangirl. Ever since I was introduced to their products a few years ago, I guess it's been now, I wear the back brace. I think it's called Venom is the one that you wrap around your back and it heats and it also vibrates. So it's really, really good for getting motion in the ocean. That's, don't say that on camera. It's really good for getting your back moving and active, especially in the mornings and especially for me because that's one of my weakest areas is my back. So if I can heat it up and get it ready to go early morning, the faster the better. And that is the best way that I've found to do it is to put just first and foremost some heat. And second of all, if you can add that vibration with the venom, it's just 
money, especially in the cold gym, which is not cold here in Dallas right now, but it helped. We had a snowstorm like a month ago. It's people have forgotten about it already, but I don't, it was, it was kind of a big deal. Power was out. There was no heat. We had a cold gym and those Venoms were lifesavers. Mm, yes. Recommend to a friend. And the other thing is the rolling ball. I love to use that to, it's called, what is it called? It's called the hypersphere. And I love to use that to roll into the back, into all my muscles in my back, down my legs, everywhere. Get them woke, to woke those muscles up. What else do I do? Yeah, normal stretching. I'm nothing too strenuous, but just never want to go from zero to 100 without stretching, without really grinding into those joints to make sure they're moving around and not, you're not gonna shock them into doing anything at 9 a.m. in the morning. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta ease them into it, you know? You gotta let them know, hey guys, I love you. Let's go play volleyball. You gotta treat your joints with some, Love and respect. Uh, what else do we do in the morning? All right, so on game day specifically, we will do a serve and pass in the morning, which is basically just exactly what it sounds like. You warm up a little bit, warm up your arm. You Well, all right, I'll tell you, I'll talk you through exactly what we did this morning, just to give you an idea. This is pretty much across the board through professional volleyball. This is what you do, you know, give or take a couple of drills. It's a pretty similar look on game day across the board. So you do your dynamic, dynamic warm up. Do a little bit of pepper and shoulder warm up with a the partner. Then maybe you'll do some butterfly across the net pepper. Oh, tennis, which is just the worst thing ever invented for a middle blocker because you know, me and defense, we're just not, we're not buddies. We're not besties. That's the one where they basically, you just have one person on each side of the court and you just battle back and forth one ball against each other. It gets aggressive. Yes, yeah, so we did that this morning and then just broke off into some some serve on, on the main court with the receivers in different rotations, but the rest of us just basically serving at them. And then after that, I will usually do extra reps of serving because personally, no, I don't feel like I get enough reps because there's maybe like, I don't know, there's like eight of us on the along the service line. So you really only get, if you're there for I don't know, 20 minutes, you maybe only get like 20 serves maybe even less, I need more than that. So once everyone's left, I'll just grab a bucket of balls and just go serve over and 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 over again. I just love having the court to myself. I just, just firing it up, you know what I mean? I just love getting those reps. And then after that, I usually will do a couple of abs, maybe work, do some, try to strengthen my shoulders a little bit, maybe some glutes, just like a couple of small things in the weight room to get those muscles awake, to use them a little bit so that they are not dormant throughout the day, if that makes sense. I like to wake them up, like to do like a little mini workout on game day. And then, oh yeah, we also did, we do our scouting report. So it's a little bit different here in the bubble because there are no coaches, there are only captains. So the collaboration between the facilitators and the captains and the whole team really, it's very athlete led league. So we just kind of come up as a group with what we're gonna block on what player, who, is our target and serve, tendencies of each hitter, and we just got a whiteboard and we just sort of write it all up and come up with our scouting report. Since we're playing three matches in a row, back to back to back, and because the teams are always switching around, you can only really look at tendencies of a hitter individually rather than an entire team, because the teams are switching up every week. So it's kind of a really, it's a really unique situation, but very, yeah, very cool, very cool. Yeah, and then uh, I'll grab a protein shake because Gatorade and Muscle Milk are a couple of our sponsors. As you guys have probably seen in previous videos here in the bubble, we've got literally everything we could possibly want at the gym in terms of volleyball and working out, but also in terms of recovery. We've got all of the trainers we could possibly need, all of the tables to do all the stretching and all the recovery with all of the gear from Hyperice and Normatec and recovery drinks and all of the things. So it's really, it's really great, it's great. Yeah, so I'll grab a protein shake from them, drive home to a Normatec session in the lounge. I prefer to do it here in the hotel because we have the possibility to. Like I, I literally just mentioned that we have all of the Normatec gear in, in the innovation lab at the gym, but it's more comfortable. I just sit on the couch in the lounge by myself, put my headphones in, maybe like send some emails, do my Normatec, nice and cozy. Voila, I've never Normatec so much in my life, but I genuinely think it is making a huge difference. My legs have never felt fresher for such a long period of time in my entire career. So I highly recommend that to anyone 
who's curious or anyone who's an old lady like myself but trying to just squeeze that last little drop out of your career, Norma Tech is lifesaver gold. What, what else? I don't know. I have some lunch. Today I had pasta and a sauce that was given to us by one of our founding fathers. That sounds, that's a weird way to put that. But one of the guys who founded the league is partnering with a food company. He had us trying some of their sauce, which was delicious. Sometimes I'll make, sometimes I'll take a nap, depending on how much work I have to do and how late the game is. Tonight we play at 7 p.m. so I've got plenty of time to either nap or work. And then, yeah, wake up, have a smoothie maybe, or a little snack like that, and then head off to the game. That's pretty much it. I don't, I don't know if that was what anyone was expecting or not. That's it, that's, that's my game day, game day morning routine in a nutshell. I hope that's valuable for you guys. I don't know if anyone was curious about that or maybe you're a volleyball player, maybe you just enjoy watching these videos about volleyball players, but that's pretty much what it looks like. Game day for me is pretty simple. I mean, I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not a routine person and that is because after playing for so many years, you realize every, if you rely on having a really specific routine every day and you don't, you'll feel uncomfortable if you don't have that routine, then you're kind of putting yourself at a disadvantage. So I just, I know what I like to do and I try to make sure I get in a couple of those things, but I'm not, it's not gonna mess with my head if, for example, it's a little bit backwards or upside down or I have to wake up a little bit earlier. It's just go with the flow and yeah, that's it. I hope that's helpful for you guys. I should stop talking because otherwise I'll just keep rambling. But if you guys want to see more of this kind of in-depth stuff, I mean, I'm doing, I'm trying to do most of my videos capturing everything that's going on and capturing other people's lives and little snippets of their personalities. But if you want to see more of this more in-depth, sit down and talking to you guys kind of thing, just let me know in, in the comments down below because I'll read them. That's why. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one.